What is going on YouTube, just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be showing you the dissolving metal reduction mechanism with alkynes. A couple of things I want to go over before I start. So I like to use the arrow pushing method to show the movement of electrons. I will also only be showing the major products of each reaction. And what I mean by that is in each reaction, I will only be showing the product that will be used to continue the mechanism. And additionally, with this particular mechanism, it is a radical mechanism, so I will be using fish hook arrows to show the movement of electrons. So I want to start with this alkyne, and then that's going to react. And you can either use sodium or lithium along with NH3, and then by the end of this mechanism, we will know what this product or products will be. So I'm going to use lithium. So we have a lithium with an electron is going to go to lithium plus plus an electron. These represent a positive and a negative charge. And so we have our alkyne and we're going to have an electron. And so one electron is going to go to this carbon and then another electron is going to bond with this electron and we're going to form this with one electron here and a lone pair here and that's going to have a negative formal charge and then that's going to react with our NH3 this lone pair is going to attack the hydrogen and this bond is going to go to the nitrogen and that's going to form this with an electron here still and then we're going to have another electron bond with this and that's going to form this compound the negative formal charge on that lone pair and then we're going to have another NH3 and this lone pair is again going to attack the H bond goes to the nitrogen and our final product is going to be this So a couple of notes about this mechanism. Like I said, it's a radical mechanism. So again, you want to use fish hook arrows. It adds two hydrogens anti to one another. So here and here would be anti and it turns an alkyne into a trans alkene. And lastly, you want to be careful with terminal alkynes. So something like this, where the alkyne is on the end of the molecule, because doing dissolving metal with a terminal alkyne will result in a bad yield of your desired product, so typically dissolving metal reduction is not a good thing to use on terminal alkynes. So that's it for this mechanism. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.